the BMA backstage at the Coles Center in downtown Minneapolis as we experience a painting phenomenon with youth here. It's called Heaven and Hell. Yes, that's what it is. Check it out here on BMA. Watch it. This is Tim Wilson. Urban Lights Music in St. Paul, Minneapolis, and we are inside the lovely Kyle Center, downtown Minneapolis, for a very special occasion. Uh, creative Arts Studio Program at Powderhorn, um, which is a group of gifted students that uh, we have put together. We teach uh, audio engineering, sound recording. Uh, we teach the business of music, uh, which is the most important thing. Uh, all those things happening under one roof at Powderhorn Park. Uh, tonight we're in the Kyle Center, and in the Kyle Center what's going to happen tonight is a gifted artist by the name of Sean Garrison is uh, putting on the most incredible show you guys have ever seen. Uh, it is going to be a live painting to a soundscape that the kids have created. So uh, that's what's going on this evening. So um, my name's Don Milley, um, and we made an hour-long song for, the, for um, Sean to paint to. And the song consists of seven different chapters, so it's kind of like a movie, you know. And um, we, we put this together in about a month and a half, so, you know, me and the students, you know, me and my students. About eight, I want to say, eight to ten students, yep, to help us, to help, um, help with it. Um, we had some students playing guitar, we got students who did vocals. Um, the superintendent for um, the Parks and Rec, his son played viola on there, yep, so um, I'm expecting, I want to see some people get emotional and I want to see some tears, so that's what we're going for, definitely, yes. Hey, I'm Alejandro Vega, and basically what I did was I helped out with the music. Uh, a bunch of us, like a bunch of kids and uh, we had two like teachers too that did a, most of the producing, but we helped out a bunch with like singing or playing guitar or putting our own beats on it yeah so that all of that it's good well the music's gonna be influencing the painting in a sense because it's an hour of music that we made specifically for this painting so there's different there's like anger there's confusion there's hope and it's this whole arc throughout the whole entire one hour it isn't, it's like one big song, but it almost feels like an album in a sense because there's, each one has like its own unique emotion brought out with each specific part. So it's really cool. 